Welcome to the 7-minute tutorial, Mastering the 3D CITA Planner. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of using the 3D CITA Planner, a powerful web-based tool for urban planning, real estate development, and visualization. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to easily move around, use map layers and bookmarks, and create your own 3D projects. Before we get started, let's talk about the minimum requirements for running the 3D CITA Planner. To use the 3D CITA Planner smoothly, we recommend using a computer that is not too old, preferably mid-range or high-end. It is also advisable to use a new browser such as Edge or Chrome, as these have better performance when it comes to loading the 3D maps and layers. Connecting your laptop to a charger will also ensure the program runs at maximum performance. Additionally, an external mouse works best for navigating the 3D CITA Planner, providing greater precision and control than the touchpad. The first step in using the 3D CITA Planner is learning how to navigate the map. The map can be navigated in several ways. You can drag the map with the left mouse button, zoom in and out with the scroll wheel, and rotate the camera with the right mouse button. You can also use the search bar on the top right to navigate to a specific address, city, or known location. The navigation buttons at the bottom right offer additional functionalities. You can zoom in and out with the plus and minus buttons and reorient the map to the north by clicking on the compass. 3D map layers allow urban planners and property developers to gain a deeper understanding of the area they are working on. By visualizing data like building heights, zoning, or in this example, amenities like retail locations, you can more effectively plan and design your project. In the 3D CITA Planner, you can easily import these data layers as WMS or WFS feeds or by importing specific files. Once imported, you can combine these layers with your project data to create a fully integrated and informative model of your project area. If you're new to 3D CITA Planner and have just started with a new account, you can access some standard data layers. However, you can also add your data layers if you prefer. In a future tutorial, we'll explain how to do this. In the meantime, let me show you how to work with the map layers. The maps and layers feature in the 3D CITA Planner allows you to configure, load dynamically, and display map services in your project. Clicking on a map layer enables it, and you can see if the map layer is loading or done loading by looking for the loading indicator or checkmark icon. A zoom icon will be displayed if the map layer is unavailable on the current zoom level. The layer category will be highlighted when you uncollapse that category. You can access more options for a specific map layer by clicking the Layer Information button on the layer's right side, the three dots. This will allow you to show the layer legend, copy the map layer, open the Edit Layer menu, or delete the map layer. The latest version of the 3D CITA Planner now includes Managed Layers, which are pre-configured layers that cannot be altered by users. However, users can enable or disable managed layers and can apply filters and styles to the data, which are temporary. If a user wants to customize a managed layer, they can create a copy of the layer using the context menu. This copy will be editable and can be modified to fit the user's needs. The user can then start editing this layer to add their own settings and data. The map layers menu displays all your configured data layers, which are categorized based on your settings. You can collapse and uncollapse categories using the arrow buttons at the top of the menu and close all your active map layers using the X button. In addition to the essential tools for viewing and manipulating the 3D data layers, the 3D CITA Planner also includes advanced features like bookmarks and sharing. Bookmarks allow you to save specific viewpoints and settings within a project for easy reference. This is especially useful when working on a large or complex project, as it allows you to quickly jump between different views without manually adjusting the camera and lighting settings each time. To create a bookmark, Navigate to the desired viewpoint and adjust the lighting settings as desired, then click the Add Bookmark button in the left-hand menu. You can give your bookmark a name and description to help you remember what it represents. Clicking the Load option under a bookmark loads that specific bookmark as previously saved. You can save your current view by clicking the Save button below a bookmark as you work on your project. Sharing bookmarks is a great way to collaborate with others on a project. By sharing a bookmark, you can send someone a link that will take them directly to the same viewpoint and lighting settings you've saved. This is a powerful tool for architects, urban planners, and other professionals who need to collaborate with clients, contractors, and other stakeholders. To share a bookmark, click the Share button next to the bookmark you'd like to share. This will generate a unique link that you can share with others via email, 
chat, or social media. Now I will show you how to start with projects. Click on the plus button located in the left corner of the screen. This will open a new window. Next, input a name for your project in the text field. Make sure to choose a name that describes your project. Now it's time to create a project area. Click on the Create Project Area button and select a location of your choice on the map. You can use the rectangle or freeform options to create the area. If you want to include or demolish existing buildings within the project area, simply select the corresponding option. Now it's time to create your new real estate. Create a simple rectangle or more complex buildings. With the Appitment Generator module, you can effortlessly create a wide range of apartment building variations in practically any configuration you desire. Simply sketch out the basic shape and select which units you wish to incorporate and let the system handle the rest. From fire escapes and elevators to storage rooms, every aspect can be customized to your specific needs. Would you like to discover a simple way to automatically generate a large number of dwellings and buildings? You can achieve this easily by using the Generate feature. There are a lot of options to choose from. Select Generate and choose the type of buildings you want to create. In just seconds, this slider allows you to produce or recreate 20 unique variations. By selecting Generate, a fresh set of 20 variants can be quickly generated. Use the Area Context menu to change the shape, replace the whole shape, specific points, or add or remove points. Look at the statistics to see if the plan fits your expectations. The project details, such as surface area usage, number of dwellings, and parking requirements can be viewed. If you add roads, parking, or green areas, the plot will automatically change and generate a new layout. And that's it. Take a closer look at our other tutorials that delve deeper into 3D projects. Explore your development plans like never before with our first-person feature. Immerse yourself in your designs and make real-time adjustments to optimize your project. Use the button on the bottom right to explore this function. Use the W, A, S, and D on your keyboard to walk around. You can find more navigation options in the context help at the top of the screen. Try it out and discover a new perspective on your development plans. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more info, have a look at our help pages, YouTube channel, website, or send us an email.